Hey, today I want to give you some safety and service features about this CAT 903D compact wheel loader. As with any machine, you want to reference its operations and maintenance manual to get the specifics of that model. Let's start at the beginning of the machine. It's a good practice to periodically roll off that work tool. Go ahead, clean out any debris that may get in there, and make sure that your pins are going to engage and keep that work tool nice and tight to that machine. Now as we move back, you've got a set of front tie down points in the front of the machine, so we'll talk about the rear ones here in a minute. But if you do work on the machine, go ahead and lower down that lift arm. Make sure that if you are working on it, that lift arm is not going to inadvertently come down. If you do have to work on the machine with the loader arm in the raised position, utilize this boom lock to make sure that that loader arm is not going to come down. If you're going to the center of the machine and you're needing to work, go ahead and utilize the articu articulation lock pin. That's going to prevent the machine from articulating because this is a crush zone down here, as you can see by those decals. Now you also notice in here one of your key greasing points, that center hitch grease point. You don't want to wait until the pins on this machine start squealing before you grease them. So reference your operations and maintenance manual to see all the grease locations and the frequency to which we recommend to grease it. While you're here, you also notice your diesel fill. With this being a tier four final machine, it is critical that you use ultra low software diesel to keep the emission system and the fuel system clean. So we've got that decal to make sure that you see that. Now as you move inside the cab, most of your accidents are gonna happen getting in and out of the cab. So maintaining three points of contact is critical. Also, if you're gonna be working on the machine, put on the park brake. So go ahead and have that on. That's gonna keep the machine from inadvertently moving. Now working around to the back of the machine, you're gonna see your tie down point decal, your tie down points on this one are just underneath the machine. You can run your chains through there, keep your counterweight from getting scratched up. From a serviceability standpoint, you do have your windshield washer fluid, you've got your engine oil filter, your fuel filter, as well as your fuel water separator. So when you replace the fuel filter element in there, you no need to pre-fill. It's got electronic priming. All you got to do is key to the on position. It's going to fill it up for you. So no pre-filling. Got your side-by-side -side coolers, your coolant level check, your engine oil fill, and your battery disconnect. All back here in the rear. Now, when I do need to check the oil, go ahead and slip my gloves on here. I can go ahead and get to the dipstick pretty easily. Reach in, check that oil level. Yep, looks good right in between the lines. So wipe that off. I'm gonna go ahead just for safe measure, check that again. Yep, everything looks good. So last is gonna be your engine air filter here in the rear. Now I've got my primary filter that is reusable so I can you know, dust that out blow it out with some low pressure air. And then your secondary filter that you can see in there, that is not reusable. So when it does need to be replaced, go ahead and just replace it. You don't, you can't blow that one out and reuse it. So that's gonna keep that engine breathing nice and clean. There we go. So we hook this up. Now coming around to this side of the machine, one key item to point out is your hydraulic oil level check. So you've got your sight gauge here and you've got your fill. Now I'm gonna come around one last thing I did wanna point out. As I mentioned, this is tier four final. So you do have a plate down here at the bottom, four bolts, that's where your DPF is. So if you do need to replace it or get it cleaned out, it gets filled, you've got easy access on the bottom of the machine right there. So those are a few of the key safety and service items of the CAT 903D compact wheel loader. As always, for specifics or if you want to check out this machine, please contact your local dealer.